Hey guys, Electron Man. Well, uh, we're going to do another little watch. Actually, this is going to be more of a watch review, repair, and maybe upgrade. We'll just see. Um, we'll start out with, I uh, picked this up at a, in a shoe box out at a yard sale, and I think I got a dollar in it. Um, I always kind of got a soft spot for the, like the Timex Expeditions, uh, the, the Timex, I, I guess you call them poly case watches as well as the Casios. Um, main reason I kind of got a pass from one thing is the things you can't, you just back can't kill them. They're, uh, they're tough old watches. They keep good time. They got backlit displays. I mean, for your everyday running around, working on your car, doing your lawn, this is really probably the watch you want to, you're sure not going to be wearing no Rolex. So if you're really a watch wearer like me, uh, this is the kind of watch you take out, uh, out and do yard work with or, uh, go swimming at the pool or whatever. But anyway, needless to say, I picked this up for basically nothing, and uh, I, it, the reason I'm sure it was there is because the bands broke on it. Uh, you know, one of these vinyl rubber bands, whatever they call this type of band, is uh, is broke here. Um, what I'm going to do first is we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this up and see if it's worth fixing. I mean, uh, I probably, hopefully I have a battery that will fit it, um, so we'll go ahead and do a battery change on it. If it keeps good time, or I should say it will keep good time if it works. If a new battery fixes it and it functions because it's not the crystal's not bad on it or the the bezel whatever you want to call it it's it's not in bad shape it's got a few light scratches but uh, I mean the watch all in all is not in bad shape so if a battery will get it back up and running then maybe I'll go out on Amazon and see what I can do about picking up a a cheap rubber band to replace the one that's on there and and uh, have me a watch for maybe under you know ten dollars for sure hopefully I can pick up a band for even less than that considering it's vinyl or plastic but uh. Anyway, let me get a little screwdriver set out here, which, uh, by the way, I picked up at the yard sale as well. My list one. Picked it up for a dollar, guys, but uh, I like the little case it's in too, but, but it's got some nice little Phillips head screwdrivers on it, and uh, it's all is complete, so I thought, what the heck, let's see. I guess that's the smallest Phillips. I don't know why these kits always come with like five different sizes of uh, flat blades, but uh, two sizes of Phillips. See, to me, there should be three and three. There's six here. Why do you get two Phillips and four flat blades? But uh, get off that rant. Hopefully, this is uh, the size will work with these screws. Let's find out real quick. Oh yeah. Get, uh, get this back off of here. Any of y'all watch the World Series? That was awesome, man. I was really pulling for the Braves. Um, I'm actually a, I'm actually a Chicago Cubs fan or even a White Sox fan. But uh, since they weren't in it, um, I just kind of was rooting for Atlanta. That's been a long time since they've been there, and uh, nice to see him see him pull that one off. Sorry, uh, you Houston fans. And yeah, let's get these screws out of here and see if we can get this back off of here. Okay. Well, I'm gonna need a little flat blade for that, aren't I? She got a good seal on her. That's probably a good thing. Hopefully she didn't get wet. That's about the only thing that kill these things is getting wet. Yeah, it doesn't look like it got wet on the inside. It says after battery replacement, short pads to reset. Huh. Okay. And how is that sucker held in there? Little sticker here. Let me see if I've even got that. It's a CR2032. That's a good sized battery there. Let me see what I got over here in my old battery supply. And I got a 2016. I wonder how close that is to 2032. 
1616. Hmm. Well, if it's not a 2032 replacement, then I don't have one. It looks about the right size, though. So. Hmm. It's worth pulling it and seeing anyway. How does that fit in there? Looks like it just kind of latches over. Banana. You got a little hoop here. It looks like it's got a little latch there. Just trying to get that to release. I'll tell you, sometimes these battery things are just real bare to get out of here. And to me, they shouldn't be. I like watches that just like slides over or something simple. Not something I gotta start squeezing on or pressing on. I'm worried I'm gonna break something. Cause I sure don't wanna break it. Now, well, let me stop this and see if I can find out how you pull this battery. Cause I'm, I'm having to pull on it pretty hard and it's not playing. Well, I finally got the battery out of there. Wow. As you can see, I kept digging tools out after tools. And it comes down to you need a pin, I mean like a needle, to uh, basically you just run it up behind it and catch it and flip it open. Um, but anyway, I got the battery out and uh, I was hoping that 2016 uh, I have, which is the exact same size would work, but if you look the 2016 and the 2032, 2032 is like twice as thick. So we're going to go on a hunt for a battery, which is a shame because now i got to buy a battery for a watch that I'm not sure will work. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to have the... the I mean, I order like 10 batteries and I order them, so I have more if I need them. So, anyway, we'll come back on this. Uh, you know, wonderful thing about Video Magic is you guys don't have to wait for me to collect all this stuff. Because in 3, 2, 1. And guys, just like Magic, look at this. I'm back with uh, everything I need. Got a battery. Got a band. I'll put the links down there, guys, for these two if you're curious about either one of them. I got this band here for like eight dollars i kind of was hesitant to spend that much money i got about 10 bucks in this watch but then i went out and looked at the watch and uh online and actually these watches go for about 40 or 50 bucks so it was worth the investment hopefully it works hopefully it was just a a bad battery so anyway uh let's go ahead and start reassembling here i just kind of pick up where i left off i'm going to get the battery out of here this should be a simple positive up slide her on in there snap it in well, that's a good sign <laughs> and I felt it vibrate so I think we got a winner here awesome and then let's go ahead and uh, set the gasket back in here real important you get that in the little grooves that fits in yeah, you want to get this gasket in here nice and neat. You want it in a little groove that it fits in. Without that gasket, um, it won't be waterproof. So you definitely want to make sure and get it seated in there best you can. Looks pretty good there. And we'll go ahead and put the sticker back on there. And let's go ahead and put the back back on there. That's good. Got one in there. That's a good start. Two in there. This is a plastic case, so you don't want to get real vicious with these screws, but you want them tied. Kind of go around and make 
sure they feel good and snug. All right. Hey. Okay, now I got the back all screwed down nice and neat, and uh, it looks like everything is working just like it should. And the glow's working. Awesome. Have to set the time and date, and we'll have to find out all the little, uh, what it does. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this band put on here. Uh, let's see here, we always want to, this end on here. Hopefully this band fits pretty nice. Yeah, where's my little band tool here? Which is a 22 millimeter band is what it was, by the way. Are you what you would do to find a band is you measure in between your uh, your post and figure out what size that is, which was 22 millimeters on this particular watch. Ooh, that's gonna look nice, I think. One end band. Let's go ahead and get the other end in here. Yeah, when you buy watches like this, just make sure your uh, where your band attaches is not broke out, because obviously that that would be a big decider whether it's worth. And I didn't get snapped in good. Shoot, thought I had that in there good. Well, that's kind of cool. This has got a little. Gizmo to slide it. Eh, come on. Well, I'll come back when I get it on. I'm not going to sit here and record 30 minutes of me trying to get these stupid posts in here, but you just get the pins in the holes, and and uh, that's all there is to it. Which the holes are fine. I just got to work around. I'll come back when I get it on there. Okay, guys, we got her all done. Got the band on her. Band looks awesome. Took a little fiddling, as usual. I always have a hard time getting this post in and out. But uh, anyway, there you go. Pretty cool little watch. I went out and looked at uh, what all the modes are and everything. And it's got three different time zones. It's got a uh, an occasion reminder. It's got a hydro reminder. It's a, also got a, a vibration alarm and a uh, sound alarm, obviously. Actually, if you do this, you can go through the modes here. You got chronograph. You got a timer. You got the hydro, which you can set for... You know, every 15 minutes that you need to, if you're working out and rehydrate, um, you got uh, your uh, chrono tent, uh, hydra, and occasion, which is just a reminder. If you got something going on that day, you can add a reminder to it. Um, of course, it's got indigo light. It's got your chronograph. Um, it's got a, three different alarms in it. Um, I'm tickled, and uh, as you can see, it works perfect. The band turned out great. Like I said, I'll leave a link for that. That band really did good. And this is up to a nine inch wrist, so this thing fits me really nice. Fact, let me go ahead and put it on and show you what it looks like. I'm tickled. Uh, this is a good little bargain I found out there to, in one of them yard sales. I uh, picked it up for a dollar just on a wrist that I figured it was probably just needed a band and a battery. But look at that. It looks pretty good, right, guys? And I love the Indigo. Great sport watch. Uh, it's, it says good 200 meters, but. Definitely, I went out and read. This could definitely do snorkeling and swimming and, uh, you know, your water sports, skiing, whatever, and not have to worry about it. Um, it's kind of a neat little feature-filled uh, Timex watch. Uh, I give it a thumbs up if you're looking for something sporty to this kind of everyday watch. And uh, I'll, uh, if I can find this one, I'll, uh, I'll put a link up there on Amazon, but I'll definitely put a link for the band and the battery that I purchased to get it back going. Paid a dollar for the watch at the yard sale. Uh, I actually bought a pack of 40 batteries uh, for, um, I think it was like nine bucks to get 40 batteries. So I've got a lot of spares. So the battery probably cost, what, uh, less than 50 cents. And the band was, what, eight bucks. So let's say we got $10 in this watch. And uh, I think it's a win. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this little watch review. Kind of unusual. Uh, went through uh, changing out a battery and replacing the band on it and restoring a nice little watch here. Have a great day, guys, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up.